無限天神流よ新流よ Hey, 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 what's up everyone? How are we all doing today? Pretty excited for some new stuff to watch. Fresh from Gamescom. Wow, what a steal! Founders, really? Yeesh. So they're, they're going straight into the 20 series. You would think they go to 11, right? Yeah, to me, those are definitely like the enthusiast level graphics cards. I mean, I have a 1060 in my PC and it runs pretty much everything just fine. But I do have a 1080 monitor, so I don't need to go 4K and whatever. Yeah, how many teraflops? And how many CUDA cores? Yeah, the next consoles, who knows, right? When those are... I read something today that... Um, like, analysts of the market are expecting a new console, or at least um, expecting the new console cycle being started up so not released but like information by the end of 2019 
Yeah, I think they need to be careful this time around because they had the mid, um, you know, the mid life cycle refresh with the Pro and the Xbox One X. They can't go too soon, but they can't wait too long as well because everyone who didn't buy a Pro waiting for the new one doesn't want to wait too long, you know. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we're going to have to see. I would guess, right, in 2019 you're probably going to hear the first rumors and the first news. And by 2020 they'll probably go into marketing slash release by the end of 2020. Because usually consoles release around uh, Christmas time, right? A little before, usually like September, something like that. Yeah, you would guess that developers would have dev kits by now, or at least like PCs in the range of what the power level is gonna be. Excuse me. Yeah, so it's going to be a while, right? Anyway, there's a couple of things I want to check out here, which is the correct combo for this. All right, so that won't do. This one's good. Yeah, I'll stick to that one. It's the one we're used to. It works. Good shit. That was something I need to check because usually when I do the hold and you know the jump comes out I need to be ready and I need to know the combo but it's not that hard anyway there's two exciting things to talk about today first most exciting there's a new Dead or Alive 6 trailer I got it locked and loaded to take a look at but we're gonna talk about the second thing as well being if you take a peek around the page here you might notice there's a sub button now which is good news because that means I'm doing I'm doing something right you know so if your wallets are, are like too heavy right they're just too full of money, right? You can always consider subscribing. It'll make your wallet way lighter. But that's not all. You're getting something in return. Though, at the moment, I still, I'm still working on stuff. Like, I still need to work on the subscriber badges because I don't have a good idea yet of what I want. So, there's gonna be... Yeah, I'm gonna do some work there, but the very first emote is already here. Let me post an 
example Bagouge. Now, if you're thinking, you know, I like my wallet just fine like it is, right? That's cool. That's great. Even better. But if you have Amazon Prime, you can get a free sub. Doesn't cost you anything and it helps me out. So if you want to do that, go for it. Now, all joking aside, of course, I would really appreciate it if people sub, but there's no obligations, right? You can do whatever you want. I'm going to stream anyway if you sub or not, so do what you gotta do, right? Now, back to the fun news. Leifang and Hitomi, a new trailer. So... I wanted to ask, have you guys seen it, but even better, I can do better. Let's just watch it right now. Let me find my play button. All right, let's got to watch out that the volume isn't too high. Hey, what's up, Wakam? Dude, I'm so glad they have unique break blows, right? Instead of stupid generic punches. I like it, I like it. So what did we see? Leifang's back, Hitomi's back, yay. I mean, I don't play him, but good shit. Alright, good shit, Lakan. Can't wait to see you stream. So, this trailer, huh? Well, like I said, I'm so happy they got unique break blows instead of the generic punch. I'm, I'm really, you know, kind of sucks, right? That the first ones we've seen, there were only a couple of unique ones. And then like Zack and Jan Lee had about the same one. Um, I think... Diego has the same punch, but you know, in this trailer, Hitomi has a unique one, Leifang has a unique one, good shit. The stage, however, whoo! Ooh, you begging for follows in my chat room? Beat it! Nah, I'm joking, I'm joking. Now, where were we? Right. The stage. Dude, the stage looks sick. Can I scroll through this? I mean, the stage looks like it has so much, um, you know, like breakable objects and shit like that, right? I mean, look, especially when you're inside the second floor, how much extra damage this stage is gonna do. Sick. And also a thing I noticed is... The 
point where the octopus comes in. Right, so the stage stuff brings you to the next floor. I don't think that's a thing in DOA 5, right? There's not, I don't think there's a stage that where the, you know, the stage damage thing gets you to a different floor, right? So yeah, all in all, I think the trailer, you know, looks cool, but there's nothing too spectacular, right? I mean, it's two returning characters, there's probably some little nitpicky things you can find, like I've seen someone point out that Lei Feng has a new parry, stuff like that, but I don't play Lei Feng or Hitomi, so I wouldn't know. Um, plus, things like that, like, I've seen people analyze Ooh, it might be, you know, 13 frames, 14 frames. That doesn't really matter right now. They might change it by the time the game comes out. You don't know. So that kind of analysis, you know, people can make content whatever they want, but I don't really see the point in that just yet. But, you know, we got a new stage, looks cool, and we got two fan-favorite returning characters. And we got a million and one uh, tentacle jokes. I mean, everyone was thinking it, right? Too late to get into DOA. Mm, it depends, right? Um, is it too late? No. Would I spend a lot of money on it? No. Um, if you are, you know... On PS4, maybe on Steam as well, I'm not sure. You can download a free DOA 5 version, which has four characters, right? Kasumi, Ayane, um, Hayabusa, and Hayate, I think. And if you just want to learn those characters or just want to mess around, you can download it free and play. You know? So it won't cost you anything and you can learn the game. Um, you know, if the full game is on sale, I could recommend it, because we don't know the release date of DOA 6 yet. Uh, so if you're if you're gonna buy it now and play it, uh, like if you're gonna buy it now and play it three times, it's not gonna be worth it. But if you buy it now and play multiple di multiple times per week, then you'll probably be Way, way more ready for DOA 6 because in the end the game is gonna be functionally very similar some things will change like you're gonna have the super attack and the meter and whatever but in the end if you know the moves in DOA 5 most of them will work in DOA 6 probably So yeah, I would say it's worth it if you're gonna put the time into it. Yeah, 20 bucks, that's a good price for the full game. I mean, the only thing I would not recommend is uh, learning like the virtual fighter characters, because they're guest characters in this game. 
and they're not gonna be in the OA6. So if you're gonna learn like a character, I would pick one of the main roster because they are pretty much guaranteed to be there. Guest characters. Didn't they say they weren't gonna do guests? I think they're gonna release the full game without guest characters, right? Yeah, the the one thing that, that for me um, is kind of in the air, right, is Momiji and Rachel. Are they guest characters? You could argue yes, they're from Ninja Gaiden, but you know, the same is true about Hayabusa, right? They're technically in the same universe. Because, you know, Kasumi, Ayane, they're all in the story of Ninja Gaiden. So technically, they're also main characters. You know, I think they will return, right? I think both Momiji and Rachel are popular. And guest characters, if they're gonna add guest characters, they're not gonna do the same ones we have now. They're gonna pick new ones. Mm. Picking a character. Um, my advice usually is and this is pretty shitty advice because everyone hates me for it but i always say pick the character you think uh, looks the coolest or where you have some connection with because if you're gonna learn a character you're gonna spend a lot of time with that character and if you just pick a character because somebody said yeah this is the best noob character the easiest one to to begin with but you don't like the character you're not gonna stick around that said, um, if you want to have an easier time at the start, I would pick any of the faster characters because, you know, you need to... How should I put this? Like, if you pick a slow character, you really need to know when you can... You know, if you block an attack, when can you attack in return if you have a slow character you really need to know about how fast are certain attacks when is it safe when is it not it's much more uh difficult that way with faster characters you can definitely uh get in get in your attack much easier um but you know the the higher level you get the less the difference becomes a big deal but still I would say faster characters are in an advantage and probably the best pick would be Christy Christy is super fast has all the tools you need um, and there's evidence pretty much every winning tournament player has used Christy or has at least a Christy in the back pocket. So I would say Christy is a really good beginner character. Um, let me think. Uh, if you do want to pick someone slower, I would probably suggest Rachel because she has a very limited move set which um, is it's a disadvantage in one way because you have not as much moves as some of the main characters but you also have a way easier time learning combos and everything so um, yeah but in the end pick the character you want to play most that's probably, in the long term, the best idea.
but that being said a faster character will make your earlier earlier life easier for sure All the fastest. Who? I actually don't know on the top of my head all of them. Yeah, you're absolutely right. The stats. Completely forgot about them. So you need to be quick. Well, if I. So yeah, so the stats pop up for a second and then. Um, but yeah, for a new player, I would say Kasumi is really good because <clears throat> she's like a a general character that is not bad or good against anyone. There's no real big differences in matchups, right? So she's really good and she's fast. Um, I would not recommend Alpha because she's like a really spammy character and once you figure out how to deal with her it becomes really hard to be good with her so um, speedy characters to recommend mm. well Christy for sure um, Hitomi, I would probably think is fairly noob friendly, though some might argue. Um, I would not, though Phase 4 is DLC, I think. Um, but she's really good, but she's uh, difficult in timings. You need to have precision timing with her. Uh, because most of her attacks rely on a teleport and you need to input the teleport at the right time in combos so she's kind of difficult to start with Zack is really good as well though he's he's kind of a jokey character or he looks like one at least but he's actually very good um, Ayane good as well but a little more difficult to learn because she has a lot of moves with turning backwards and she has a lot of movement flips and tricks you need to learn about um, yeah Hayate would be pretty good as well I um, think these are DLC mm. Momoji is probably or Momiji sorry it's probably pretty good as well because uh, well, I've been learning her now, and I feel her moveset is pretty simple to work with and really easy to identify um, what move is used for what. Um, yeah, that's about it. So, biggest recommendation, of course, would be Christy. She's probably the fastest character, and she is known to be top top tier in the game so she's probably a great place to start um, otherwise I would recommend someone like Kasumi maybe Hayate maybe Momiji you know whatever you like Also, kind of depends on how much experience you have with fighting games in general, right? If this is your first fighting game ever, um, then it's gonna be quite a challenge, to say the least.
No problem, me. No problem, no problem. And if you have any more questions, you know, you're always welcome to ask. I think me and everyone in the community, in the chat here, will always be happy to help. I mean, I'm in no way a very good player, but I'm trying to become better at the UA, but in fighting games in general as well. And I feel that's kind of the point of my stream as well, to show that you don't need to be some kind of genius or some kind of, you know, wizard to learn fighting games. You just need to take your time, go through the steps. And, you know, with my stream I can just show, um, you know, instead of being a good player, learning, uh, instead of a good player telling people how to do it, I'm like a uh, intermediate player and we can learn together, right? Find people to throw hands with. So you, you mean just to play with? I'm actually not familiar with that phrase, to throw hands with. Alright, alright, I figured, I figured. Well, here's the thing, usually when I play, like now, I open a lobby, um, you know, to play some one-on-one -on -one matches and Anyone is welcome to join. So if you don't mind being on stream while you play, be my guest. Yeah, uh, what I can say about DOA 5, the only big negative about the game right now is that it's kind of dead, right? There's not that many people actively playing. Hey man, thanks for the follow, really appreciate it. But yeah, finding random people online, it's possible, especially on PS4, I think that's pretty much the only place where people still do rank matches at all. But, you know, you probably, if you want to play a lot, you're probably going to have to find people to, you know, manually go into a lobby and play with. I mean, as you can see, it takes a while. Kind of depends on the day. Sometimes I have a lot of matches, very fast. But sometimes, you know, it's waiting time. There we go. Bibu, yeah. Ooh, Kasumi. So, you're gonna see right now, he picked, he or she picked Kasumi. So I'm gonna have to be really watchful 
uh, because she can interrupt me pretty easily because of the speed. Nice hold. All right. Ooh, lag. Oh my god, the low kick. Yikes, that was a bad match. But you know, I'm still finding my footing with Momiji. She's like a character where you really need to space well and you need to react to the opponent. You know, a lot of whiff punishes, stuff like that. Dude, I hold that. Mm. All 
All right. There we go, beautiful. What? Oh man, the second attack works if he if it misses. I hell unbelievable Alright, what do we got here? Haven't won a match online. Well, it is slightly more difficult to get into it now, right? Because the most players out here, or to the most players who are still playing, uh, they've been playing for a while, right? Yeah, I know I'm trash, but you know, you gotta learn at some point, right? Ooh, the lag. I can't believe that happened. What? 
Why did he hit? I was holding back. The hole. Explains why I had such a, such a hard time getting into it though. I mean, if he plays the same character. Alright, I'll play you in just a second, man. Let me just finish up one match with this guy and then we'll play, alright? I can't believe that hit. Unbelievable. All right, all right, all right. <gasps> it still hit. See that one coming. There we go, there we go. Beautiful. 
and down again. Woo, nice. Man, that was a fuck up at the end for me, but it still worked out. Alright, back to lobby. Doesn't get the hint. All right, we'll just create a new one. Um, This you? I'm gonna guess it is. Like this or... yeah. No players found. Is he really getting hung up on... Yeah, I'm on PlayStation. Ah, too bad. No, I'm on... Uh What's the name? You can like be online but don't show that you're online. Usually when I'm streaming I like to not be online for other people because otherwise I keep getting messages and shit all over my screen. Hey Tron, you down to play some? Alright, good shit. By the way guys, if you haven't noticed, there's a sub button 
available right now if you want this amazing Tina emote and you got a Twitch Prime just laying around not using it you can get a Tina emote just saying just saying I'm still working on, you know, badges and stuff like that, but we'll get there, we'll get there. Side step. The lag. It reached. I did not expect that to hit. <laughs> Missed an opportunity. I mean, you're gonna have to hear me say that a lot of times. Until the game is here, I can't wait for it. Side coming that was too slow. How did I miss that? Ooh, nice. Ugly.
Ooh, I'm dead. <coughs> I actually have no idea what to do after the hold where she switches sides. <coughs> no idea what the uh, correct combo or whatever it is. <coughs> Jeez. Excuse me. Ooh, Angel versus Devil? Lore match? Why did it not work? Tony the Tiger. Ooh. Oh my god, really? Why is it missing? Ooh, there we go. They can hold? That was cheap. <clears throat> Thought you'd have a little more recovery there. Alright, let's really focus here gotta focus can be playing around It's not working as I want to. Let's start playing around again.
Finally. <laughs> Got him. was up with that delay? He went back to neutral and then did the last kick. Oh my god. That delay was insane. Alright, I got the broom. Now I can mop the floor. God again. He has insane delays. What the fuck? Beautiful. What? That was way too close. Yeesh. Alright, alright, I give it my gave it my best shot. To still running back. Oh, 
Dude, so often I know he's gonna do a low, I do the low hold, but he does his low just a little bit slower than normal and it misses. Welcome back, Daniel. Dude, why does it not work? No wall damage. No, not what I wanted to do. Jeez. was a rough one. Hey, what's up, Jab? Getting warmer. I feel this week is gonna be good. I'm gonna play an entire week with Momiji and I feel like just playing a lot really is gonna get me in a better place. Dude, that's so bullshit. You can't do anything against that. I just held block and it still hit. Ridiculous. Still worked so long after the hole. Beautiful. This one or this one? Oh, 
Oh my god, the delays! Man, Tekken 7, the 6th of September, Woo! that's so close. I blocked low. go. Yeah. 
Beautiful. Beautiful. Yeah, Dietro, um, so far he's been crouching a lot after the flip if he blocks it, so I've been avoiding the air throw a little bit. But you know, conditioning, I guess. Um, yeah, the season pass, I'm definitely getting it. Day one. I really want to play Anna. Really looking forward to it. Um, and yeah, the new moves I've seen. Um, like in the movie they did. There's a good addition for Lily. Christy is not gonna be in there. Man, the rig is so. So Christ, the pixel? is so cheap if you don't know what to do against him mm. well I, I think Christy is a little too much like Eddie I mean if they're gonna pick anyone it's gonna be Julia but you know, there's there's a chance. Who knows? Who knows?
I expected to throw. So yeah, Tekken 7 is gonna have some changes. Um, there is gonna be an easy combo system, but it's gonna be disabled for tournaments, so you know they probably shouldn't be using it anyway. But you know, it's a noob-friendly thing. I don't mind, and yeah, the wall bounce. Uh, some moves are gonna let your opponent bounce off the wall. I'm not sure about online. They didn't really say anything about it. They didn't give that much information yet. Why did I throw there? Beautiful. So yeah, there were a couple of other things they're gonna add to Tekken 7. Um, I think they were gonna tweak the points you need for ranks. And there's also gonna be a bar, so you can see um, how far you need to go for the next rank. Instead of now where you're just guessing. Uh, so that's a good addition. Um, yeah, wall bounce, easy combo thing.
Ooh, I should have done forward throw instead of neutral throw. I don't know what happened there, but it worked, and that's just fine. What was I doing there? Nice, nice, nice. Hey, what's up, man? What a combo. Oh boy, I'm dead. Yeah, I'm good. Yeah, I, I like WWE. It's been a while since I watched, but I definitely watch on and off. Yeesh, that's a nasty combo. Wait, why didn't that work again? What the fuck? In training mode, that combo even works in neutral. Just not even a counter, just launch and do the combo. Hmm, but rig might be heavier. That could be it. No, like I said, it's been a while since I watched. I usually ha I have like moments where I'm right, like totally into it, and I watch Raw and SmackDown, the whole shebang. Uh, but I haven't been following it like the last year at least. I mean, I do like see it on social media and whatever. Ooh. 
What? Why didn't the punch come out? Dude. Oh my god. Close, close. Ninja Gaiden outfit. Now your days are numbered, buddy. Or you know, something like that. Once he gets his leg up, <clears throat> you're so fucked. Oh yeah, that's not a combo. Really? I jump over it and you still hit me? Ridiculous.
go. Once you're in the fucking loop, you're so dead. The mix up, the mix up. And once you're in that loop. It's rough. I really feel like there's no other way than to, you know, just learn rig and know how to hold at that point. Because even if I do like the fastest move I have, I can't get in between. Which makes sense because a lot of his frames are really good once he has his leg up. I mean like that. It looks so much like he can do something, but you can't. Downstairs we go. There we go, there we go.
Beautiful. And find a way in between. Ridiculous, ridiculous, so much guard breaks, so much good frames. <clears throat> Man, Rig is a beast. What happened there? I didn't even throw. I might have buffered one in though. Ooh, the throw. believe not even a 12 frame low punch can get anywhere in between that shit
I mean, look at that. I can't even get up without getting hit. I don't think so. It's lack of knowledge. I mean, we've looked at uh, the frames before. Once he's in his stance, he has so much frame advantage. Or at least, you know, a very low negative frames. Practically impossible to get anything in between. Especially with all the guard breaks. Really tough. Really? How does that keep happening? Jesus. I got so lucky. Oh my god. Oh my god, close your eyes, kids! gonna get banned yikes look at that
Wrong move, wrong move, unsafe. Very nice. Oh man. <gasps> the little duck and he got under it. Nice, nice, nice. Man, I can't believe you pull a clutch duck like that off with this lag. That's pretty impressive. Yeah, yeah. 
Oh man, close. Man, another. Even if I block all those kicks, the next one is always quicker than whatever I can throw at him. Really? Oh my god. You need to hold that one or you're fucked. That's literally all you can do. I'm dead. Man, that's such a fucked up move. Especially since all the follow-ups are completely... You know, they're good on block. Can't do anything. Well, maybe maybe I can throw him while he has his, his, his leg up. Can you even throw him in the stands? Every time sick. Okay, there's no throwing because he guard breaks you. You really need to hold that one. I can't believe that happened. His loop is fucked up. Way too many options. You really shouldn't have a throw in there. That really, really fucks it up.
so fucked up you can't do anything after the low high move you should at least be able to get a punch in there right Dead. Oh, jeez. I mean, all those kicks, I can't get anything in between. So basically, what the developers are saying is, you know, learn how to hold them. That's all you can do. didn't want to do that. Alright Tron, I got time for one more. So let's make it count, shall we?
move is so cheap! Not a low, not a low. Dude, why does it not hit the wall? And another one. All right, all right, all right. GG's, man. GG's. Man, I really just should just like train a whole week against the rig so I know how to hold everything. Because defense against that guy, not easy at all. Mm. All right, boys and girls, thank you so much for watching and, you know, thanks everyone for following uh, and in that way uh, getting me my sub button. Yeah, I know, but the rig has so many moves where, you know, you just can't get in between when you're on plus frames, right? I mean... Especially once he lifts his leg up? Fuck me, man. <laughs> Not even giving me advice, huh? That's how it is. Who says it needs to be a different community? We can share, we can share. I mean, I'm not in the business of, you know, being an enemy of other uh, DOA streamers. I mean, there's enough people to go around, we can all watch each other. Not good. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed and thanks for all the support. Um, you know, not gonna ask for anything, but if you have a Twitch Prime laying around, not doing anything with it, 
you can sub to get a cool Tina emote. Ooh yeah. Yeah, the forward forward punch punch. When you punished it twice at the end um, in the last match, so that's one I need to be careful of using. But yeah, I feel with Momiji it's actually easier to fight against Rig than with Tina or Kasumi because Momiji is so much better in creating the space. And, you know, if I can get out of Riggs, uh, you know, tornado of moves, then you got a little more time to think. So I feel that definitely helps. Alright, for real now, guys, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.